Wife of the River State Governor Justice Eberichi Suzette Yesowike has called on non-governmental organizations and public-spirited individuals to emulate United Nations Children Front UNICEF by joining hands with government at different levels to fight coronavirus. Speaking at the government house Patakot on Saturday, the wife of the River State Governor said such collaboration will lead to greater success. Um, I've heard all that you have said. Your speech is very well taken. I've noted the um, plan of action that you have left here. I will promise you that I will look at it and consume it. And after reading through, of course, it will be apparent what it is I need to do to support the plan and make sure it's a success. And I give you my word that I will do everything I can within my power as God gives me the grace to make sure it's a success. She thanked UNICEF for appointing her UNICEF champion for RIC's communication and community engagement in the state. There's no doubt that we are at war at this time. And it's a relentless foe. It is. Um, all-consuming, it is very dangerous, of course, as we know, and most of all, like all viruses, it is invincible. So we don't even know what we're up against. Like you mentioned in your speech, we are grateful that our casualties have not been as bad as they could have been, what has been gracious to us in Nigeria, and especially in River State. It's not going to be an easy task, because there will be need for behavioral changes like you have mentioned, such as wearing this face mask, which I have to say is very discomforting, and not enjoying what I'm doing now. It can't be easy, but it's a sacrifice that we all must engage in to keep us alive. We must abide. Of course, the hand washing aspect is also a very, very useful part of prevention. And I will use this opportunity to thank UNICEF for all the good work you've been doing in River State. You have a friend that is impeccable, and your service is, I would say, top. She said, though it will not be easy, all stakeholders must work relentlessly to defeat COVID-19. Thank you for choosing me as the champion, and I will do my best, like as I've already said. Uh, this pandemic has somehow, although it is seen to be really bad, yes, but of course we always see that there's always a silver lining in every cloud, and so some good has come out of it. I believe that Nigeria will be better after this. We're already seeing changes and we see the dire need to improve on our health sector and also in our way of living, in our way of communication, which is something that is key to arresting this situation. We have to spread credible news, make a path for us to report wherever we have any incidents and of course, we have in River State the rapid response team that is excellency set up five different units to arrest any situation that arises. She said though the functions of UNICEF are critical to the fight against coronavirus, the River State governor's wife called for more hands washing units in different communities. We see the need much more now than ever before for constant running water. And we have to say that there are some people that are not so fortunate. They do not have this kind of um, provision. But this is also something I'm sure every one of us in Nigeria will be thinking of now, especially the government, to make provisions, especially in the rural areas where this facility is not readily available. And so I thank you for taking the lead, setting this space that I'm believing other people will emulate and replicate all over River State. I also 
want to say that this experience has made us more appreciative of ourselves as people living together. Um, I'm sure that people who have not had good family relationships are now mending fences, they are bonding better, they are beginning to understand themselves more because there's nowhere to go. You have to be at home and you have to keep the peace at home. We all need to, you know, put all our hands on deck. It is not something we will leave to uh, the government alone. Of course, everybody has a role to play. If you cannot even make any provisions for anybody else, at least do something for yourself. Save your own self. Protect your own self by this hand washing that you have come now to set an example. At least secure yourself. And if you do that for yourself, then you will be preventing the means of getting the infection and also slowing down the spread of the infection. Because the more people who have it, of course, the more people who can transmit it. She commended the U.S. state governor, Yes Omezon Wike, for being proactive in tackling the pandemic. She said his initiatives has helped in checking the spread of coronavirus. Because this is a good time to also thank His Excellency for being very proactive. And in fact, he started just shutting down borders anywhere in Nigeria. And that has made it possible that our numbers have been low. The United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF representative, Dr. Mario Modest, Yogo said that the organization will continue to work with the River State government to check the spread of coronavirus. I commend the strong leadership of His Excellency in guiding us to those challenges. I appreciate and recognize your stewardship. He praised Justice Eberichi Suzette Yesowike for accepting to be a UNICEF champion for risk communication and community engagement in the state. I appreciate and recognize your stewardship, your acceptance to be the champion in the collective engagement of the people of River State to stop the spreading of the virus in our communities. Your Excellency, you are our champion, the model leading us for lasting behavior change that we all need now to put an end to the pandemic and build resilient and prosperous communities. UNICEF is supportive of River State COVID-19 response plan. He presented the plan of UNICEF to be rolled out across the state to prevent the spread of coronavirus in the state. He said one of the strong elements of the fight is to build strong partnerships to check the spread of coronavirus. It's stronger. We know that it will transform the lives of the people of River State in terms of the engagement. We also know that it will be a long way to demonstrate that you are a front line soldier, foot soldier, ends on to prevent the spreading in our communities. He said that UNICEF will invest in the ideas of women groups, youth groups and other interest groups in the state. The UNICEF representative asked the wife of the River State Governor to always encourage the vulnerable and poor that they are hopeful. I would like to present to you the plans of UNICEF that we are rolling out across the state 
to ensure that we will work with you to mobilize across all sectors, everyone, to join the fight. One of the key elements of that fight is to bring stronger transformative partnership, bringing government institutions, public sectors, private sectors, community-based organizations around the common agenda to fight the COVID-19. High point of the occasion was a symbolic display of hand washing by the wife of the university governor.